No man has come down from heaven. No man has ascended into heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. He was told Nicodemus he's here on earth while he's, he's in heaven him, at the same time. I'm here on earth and I'm in heaven at the same time. Yeah. He just told Nicodemus I'm omnipresent. But now, what is that word in the Greek? Because he said paradise in Luke. And now he's saying heaven in John. What is that word? The word is urenos. And the word means through the idea of elevation, the sky, by extension, heaven, as the abode of God, meaning a place where God lives. Power, eternity, especially in the gospel. Now, here's the funny thing. When he said, you'll be with me in paradise, and you look up the, the Greek meaning of that word, what do we see? We see a park. We see Eden, the Garden of Eden. We see places on earth. But when he sees heaven, what do we see? We see a place of elevation, the sky, by extension, heaven as the abode of God. Two completely different places. Uh -huh. Now, where was he telling? Where was he telling the thief he was going to go with him? You remember the story of Lazarus and the rich man? Lazarus was the beggar who sat at the gate. The rich man dies, Lazarus dies. Where do they go? They both went into the earth. Remember, a park, the Garden of Eden. But it was separated. One part was a part of torment, and the other part was a blessed place. It was called Abraham's bosom, or paradise. And all the Jews who were devout Jews, and their family sacrificed for them, or they sacrificed, had a right to go to paradise because it was called the commonwealth of Israel. Common meaning everybody had it, wealth meaning it's, it's valuable, okay? So in the story of Lazarus and the rich man, what happens? The rich man is suffering and he looks up and he can see Abraham and he says, please send Lazarus over here with just a drop of water. They told him it was sheep, mm -hmm. okay? So they were in the same place. Also remember this, Jesus said, Today, you will be with me in paradise. But didn't the Bible say that he who ascended first descended, first descended into the uttermost parts of the earth? Yes. And when he appeared to Mary, what did he say to Mary? Don't touch me, Mary, for I have not yet ascended to my father and your father. So when he said to the thief, today, you'll be with me in paradise, where did he go? The Bible says that he descended into the uttermost, uttermost parts of the earth and he preached liberty to the captives. He went to the Jews that were waiting in Abraham's bosom and said, I'm the Messiah, I came for you. It says he led captivity captive. He took them out of there. It's what they were waiting for. Also, another argument against this is, is pastor, the Bible says I'm saved by faith. And you know what? The Bible does say we're saved by faith. I'm not about to disagree with that. But what I am going to talk about, and I'm looking up the scripture right now, is what that means. Because many people think that faith stands by itself. But as we're about to see, doesn't faith mean obeying the word of God? Well, when I read what I'm about to read, you'll see that that's what it means. Which God said, Go ye therefore teaching all nations to be baptized as a commandment. What doth it profit, my brethren, 
Though a man say he hath faith and have not works, can faith save him? If a brother or a sister, they think up and I was naked or destitute of daily food, one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warm and be filled. Notwithstanding, ye give them not those things which are needful to the body. What does it profit? What did you do for them? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Depart in peace and be ye warm and filled. Notwithstanding, you give them not those things which are needful to the body. What does it profit? Even so, faith, if it hath not works, is dead, being alone. Faith without works is what? Dead. Okay. Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show you thee my faith by my works. Amen. Thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. But wilt thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? Now catch this. Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he had offered Isaac his son upon the altar? Seest thou how faith wrought with his works and by works was, fought, was faith made perfect and the scripture was fulfilled which saith Abraham believed God and it was imputed unto him for righteousness and he was called the friend of God. You see then how that by works a man is justified and not by faith only. Likewise also was not Rahab the harlot justified by works when she had received the messengers and sent them out another way? For as the body is without the spirit dead, so faith without works is dead also. So I can say all day long, the Bible says that I'm saved by faith. I believe in Jesus. I'm saved by faith. But if you have the faith in Jesus, then you'll have the works, the actions. Then now, I'm going to say this to anybody who's listening. If anyone comes to you and tells you that baptism does not save you, if anyone comes and tells you that you don't have to be baptized, then that person is doing one of two things. They're either ignorant of the scriptures or they're lying to you. And I'm telling you right now, do not let someone steal your salvation because they're telling you something that tickles your ear. That makes you feel good. Because Jesus Christ, our example, offended many people because he told them the truth. Amen. And the truth, the old swato, the truth hurts. That's right. But when you know the truth, the truth shall set you free. Amen. Amen. Thank Praise you, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We magnify you, Lord. We glorify your yes, holy Lord. name. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the study, Lord yes. God. We thank yes. you for the time that we've had together, Lord yes. God. Yes, Lord. Father, I'm asking, Devil Amokodad, whoever heard this study, Lord God, that you would bless them, Father, that you would be yes. with them, Father. Yes. Lord, that you would help them to obey your word, Mokodad. But Lord God, whatever was said of you, Lord God, let your word grow. And I give you glory and honor for it, Lord. And we thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 The button in the back. Just push it. No, in the very back.